in the postgrad program with Fulton University and MIT, we were able to see the different methodologies that were created in cognitive neuroscience and how the brain activates when we see emotion perception, animation, and an image of 3D stimulation or object recognition. That is due actually to the way the brain reacts to those specific objects or animation. It could also be correlated to a logarithm or algorithm. Um, images are created to stimulate specific parts of the brain, for example, the ventral stream and dorsal stream. As soon as we see an image and animation in a graphic, our brain activates to the ventral dorsal stream. Now, memories are consolidated in the REM sleep. This is where we create intelligence, intelligence quotients, the ability to think in a higher cognitive structure in our brains. In my PhD study of cognitive neuroscience, we're studying what memory is, what perception is, what language acquisition is, what is REM sleep memory consolidation, what are the areas of the brain that associate with happiness, contentment, what is dementia, what is schizophrenia, how is depression, and how is anxiety. Nowadays, most people suffer from depression and anxiety that is due to, to a loss of the job or any other negative activities. That can influence in the way we think, the way we perceive, the way we understand. Um, to balance, it is to learn and to mem to learn and to memorize. We must have a very strong consolidation. Consolidation is the ability to create new memories that takes place on your REM sleep. Then it takes place reconsolidation that's created and bring newer memories into the picture. In my research, we're currently talking about anxiety and what depression and what does to the cognitive learning memory. We have different type of cognitive factors that affect how we are able to correlate and relate or that affects behavior or that affects attention. Um, the structure of the brain is created by the cytoskeleton. The cytoskeleton is what holds the neurons. Deterioration of the cytoskeleton can create dementia, can create schizophrenia, can create, um, can create depression, can create a lot of different syndromes that affect memory. Alcohol, the consumption of alcohol only kills cells and deteriorates the human brain. Every time we continually learn, that enhances our memory capacity, our intelligence quotient. We're able to understand what the brain is able to do and how it correlates and how we're able to develop activities such as mathematics, science, or any other cognitive or special navigation activity. What anxiety and depression is caused by so many different factors. And to, and to increase in special navigation, we conducted research that we must go under a relaxed training program. The relaxed training program, what it does, it just increases your special navigation abilities and the ability to see visual special abilities in your brain, like A, B, C, D, or D. It can connect to an algorithm. We have different factors such as mind mapping, what is mind mapping. We have areas of the brain that relate to the parietal cortex or or cipital lobe, or that ox, when we unite the parietal cortex, the cipital lobe, cipital lobe is visualization. Parietal cortex is actually spatial navigation. So we can create a correlation between those two disciplines and create a new methodology or a new invention or a new way of perceiving things in the brain. It is fascinating to know how we are able to create memory, spatial navigation, different types of cognitive abilities, intelligence, and how that affects the way we think and we are our behaviors, our emotions, the way we perceive things, the most important, who we are. Media.